What's up, what's up, what's up? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. What's going on, y'all? So, I had an answer. I finally came up with a solution to my chat issue. <laughs> Where it was like, showing the screen and showing the chat at the exact same time. And, um, it's, I don't know, it's, it's not the most elegant solution ever, but it's a solution. I basically, instead of having a second monitor, which is what I should have, um, I have uh, my iPad over here that's playing my stream provided I don't knock any of my books and stuff over uh, that happen to be in the way. But yeah, so I've got the uh, I got the chat over here so I can just kind of take a gander that way to see what's going on. So, how's everybody doing? Nobody there yet. Oh, what happened? Oh, I think I just did that. What happened to the chat? I lost my chat. Well, that's not good. I come in and I just I lose the chat. How did I do that? <laughs> Wait, hold on. That was weird. Okay, there we go. And FYI, Voon, I, sorry, um, I'm, I apologize. I am I'm not going to even try to attempt to pronounce your name. Um, that is a really interesting name. I wouldn't even know where to begin, but uh, hi. Thanks for popping in. What's up, Kara? How are you? How are you doing? That's interesting. Though. I wanted to live chat. That's what I wanted. Not top chat. I wanted live chat. There we go. Sounds coming through. Everything's good. Everything's copacetic. I'm going to try to put this in a less obtruse. A, a intrusive way so today what I'm gonna work on um, you know I, I noticed something that a lot of people uh, do they you know and, I, and I'm guilty of this too but um, sometimes people use textures in their work like you know I, I pr some sell and promote all the texture packs that I have and the way that I use them sometimes is a little bit clunky, you know, because that's kind of my style. And there are better ways to use textures, right? Especially if you want to get the full aspect and vibrancy of a particular texture. Let's just say, for instance, you have a paper texture and you really want that paper texture to come through uh, in whatever image that you're using it, as opposed to just kind of laying it there um, and putting stuff on top of it, like you want to overlay it onto certain aspects of your peak of your work, then maybe not others. And so you bring it in and you put a blending mode on it and then it's like call it good, right? But that's not, that's only like half of the equation to make it really stand out. So today I'm going to be talking about how uh, a way that I've established to kind of bring a little bit more depth out of a texture like that. Um, yeah, so we're going to get to it in just a bit. Just going to wait and see if a few more people show up. I'm great. How are you? Excited to see you stream. Yeah, I'm excited to be streaming. It's, um, and by the way, if this, if my tongue turns red, it's because I'm drinking a, uh, uh, post-workout protein colored drinky thing. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, you know, it, so I got this thing. Oops, knocking my mouse around. So I got this thing. I'm gonna see if I can reach it. Ah. This little doohickey right here. This is my new Wi-Fi extender. And uh, I was kind of waiting in the mail for that. Well, actually, we were, um, I was gonna buy one. And then my wife said, oh, they have them on Costco, and she had a Costco credit, so we said, let's go to Costco. But they didn't have the one that we wanted. And then I was like, okay, well, then as we were driving home, then we were like, well, let's stop by Target, see if they had it, and they didn't have it. So then I ordered it, and it took me a couple of days to get here. Long story short, it took me a couple of days to get to where I wanted. Um, this 
at least right now, by looking at my numbers, it's, you know, my download, or my upload speed, rather, is looking pretty good. The OBS, the app that I use to stream to you guys, is telling me that all signs are green for the time being. Um, and I, I, it, it's hard to say if that's actually the case or not. The true test will be if I try to get on here someday during uh, a time when, you know, everybody's in the house. Like if I come back here on the weekend to try to go live, that'll be the true test. <laughs> that'll be the true test about whether this thing works or not. You know what's funny is I wish I could hear, well, maybe I don't. I was going to say, I wish I could hear my own voice in, this, in the um, headphones, but I can't. They're muffled. All I hear is, I hear the music. But I don't hear myself. It's a good thing these aren't noise-canceling headphones, because then I wouldn't be able to hear a dang thing. And then I might be screaming into the microphone because I'm overcompensating for the fact that I couldn't hear anything. So... Let's uh let's let's see if I can jump over here. Uh, of course. It seems like every time I go back over to this setting, it just oh, that's why. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> I feel like I got smaller. Maybe that's just my screen. Well, I think it's further away. I'm gonna try and push it a little bit further this direction, just a tiny bit. I'll take this like that. Bear with me a sec. Nope. And I'm crooked. Ah, now I'm too high. <laughs> there we go. I moved some stuff around, so like things are not in the place that they should be. One of these days I'm gonna have one of these days I'm gonna have like a you know a real setup where nothing moves. Like I mean it it maybe oscillates but it stays where it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right. Let's see now. Go back over here. Okay, I just, here, we gotta do one other thing. Switch over to this one. Look out. Uh, see? Bear with me a sec, guys. I'm gonna have to endure that for a sec while I reinstall there's a, there it is. Now I have to redo this one. Now I have to redo this one. I wish I could just copy and paste the other one from the other one. Oh, can I do that? Let me see something. Can capture device? Can I copy this? Oh, it can. Oh, right on. I can do that. Paste. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's get rid of that one. And it doesn't have that fancy uh, ring around it, but that's okay. I'll figure that out later. Oh, maybe I can do the whole thing. We're all learning as we go, folks. I'm going to copy that. There we go. Now we're going to really get it. Now we're going to really get it here. Watch. Delete that. No, that's the wrong thing. Delete that. Yes. And then this. There we go. Bingo. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So this... Just double-checking my settings here. The beauty of me being able to look at the chat, but I'm also looking at the stream so I can see exactly how the stream shows up without having to switch my screen. Give it a few seconds. This takes a few seconds to update. Your view versus my view. Okay. We are golden. We are golden. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's close that. Don't need that anymore. Hey, here's a new project I'm working on. New texture pack I'm actually working on right now. A uh, little sneak peek. I'll show some of this to you. Here, hold on. Let's do this. Cool. That was weird. Oh, it's good. Gone full black. 
That's why. We'll do it this way instead. Okay, so I've got, basically I started out by literally hand drawing a bunch of little dots into my Procreate app. And then I just did some alterations to it, made it a little thinner. Okay, right, so it's a little thinner on that one, a little more narrow, and then this one is even more narrow, and then this one's a little bit combined and blobbed together. That one's a little bit narrower on that, and more narrow on that, and then this is just a massive color, or black. This one's a little bit less on that, a little bit less more, a little bit more less, <laughs> a little bit more less there. So far, this is what I've got, and this is going to be a texture pack soon. Um, I'm going to add some more to this, like meaning this is going to be however many this is, and then there's going to be another one that's going to be more lines. That's ought to be, that should be fun. Um, but yeah, so that's coming soon. Secret project just for you guys and anybody who happens to see this video after the fact. Uh, we don't need to save that. That was for today's video. If you haven't seen today's video, oh, that's one of my pieces of art there. Isn't she pretty? Um, you haven't seen today's video that I posted. I posted a video today about uh, why you shouldn't be listening to YouTube designers. Why you should be focusing more on learning how to be a good designer yourself rather than just learning how to study techniques that some designer might show you. Like how to do this particular filter technique. That's cool, but first you need to understand the fundamentals. So that's one of the things we're going to be talking about on some of the videos that I do, not necessarily these live ones, but the ones that I publish for viewing. Um, yeah, that's coming soon. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to close this one because it's been, for some reason, this particular image has been very computer intensive. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it. And then I'm just going to open up a brand new document so I can show you what we've got going on here. Um, let's just go small like this. So I'm going to bring in an image. doesn't really matter which one image, which image. The idea is just to kind of create the texture on top of the image. Let's just say, what do you think? Do we need a, a female? Uh, maybe we need a, a landscape? Do we need animals? Let's just type, some, type in a random letter and see what we can find here. I'm looking on Pixabay right here, the stock portfolio on Pixabay. There's a cute cat. See if I can find something in more interesting than that. Uh, these thumbnails make it hard to see exactly what the what the relationship is with these things, but uh, I don't know. I'll go random here and just pick something. Uh, do oh here we go. I like this one because it's kind of already got a, a little bit of a you know it's got some coloration to it. Ooh, ooh, she's spooky looking. It's like ice cream looking. Maybe offset her just a bit. Try to create a little bit of compensa compensation. No, composition. Let's create some interesting composition going in. What happens if I go all the way down? Do this one just a bit. I don't know why I'm getting this detailed about it because we're not. It's not like we're going to use this for anything, any kind of project or anything like that. That's slow chat today. Slow chat. That's okay. No worries. It's just you and me, Kara. You're still here. A little more sippy sip. I feel very parched today. It was a good workout. Okay, just for our purposes, I'm going to go and I'm going to rasterize this image. Because whenever you bring in a photo into uh, Affinity Photo or Designer or whatever, it doesn't come in rasterized, it just comes in as like an image. It's like an object, it's like, it's just something to be placed. And you can manipulate it in the size relationship, but you can't really, like sometimes a lot of filters won't apply to it. You know, you can put masks on top, but you can't do like, say for instance, like the warp uh, tool over here, you can't do that. And some uh, adjustments won't work. Well, adjustments will work, but like some of the filters won't work on it. Uh, the, not the filters, the, excuse me, the effects won't work on it. So I'm just going to rasterize it for our purposes today. Rasterize it. I don't think I'm going to trim it up because you never know. I may want to move it around. Oh, Jason's here. What's up? I'm here. Well, kind of on and around doing errands. Rolling this one. I'm going to have to catch the replay. No worries, dude. No worries. No worries, Jason. You catch that replay all you want. It'll be available uh, shortly. And I'm only going to do this project here, and then I'm probably going to bounce. 
So this may be a little bit of a shorter video today, but um, but yeah, unless you guys have any questions, as I go, make sure to throw them out there because, you know, otherwise I'll just zoom right past them. Anyway, so the point being, I want to bring in a texture and I want that to lay that texture over top of this. Now, normally what I might do is bring the texture in first and then lay this on top and do that. But let's just go ahead and bring in a texture real quick so I can show you. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I'm just placing a new image. So I'm going to go find my digital textures right here. Um, thing is, do I want more of a granite look or a paper look or just a stained look? Let's see. Let's go through our stain textures. Let's see what we've got here. If there's anything interesting coming through. These ones could be a little bit extreme. So might not necessarily be the best ones for this particular dainty lass that's in this picture. We'll see if I can find something that might work. There's something to be said about the juxtaposition of like something that's so fine and beautiful as that woman in the picture with a little bit of grittiness that I'm getting from these images here. If you're not familiar with this particular pack, this is called Stained, and it's basically a bunch of pictures of granite concrete that I've taken as I walked around my city, and they all have this aspect of some sort of deterioration or staining based on like the elements like water or uh, human elements or uh, just, you know, time and, you know, and erosion from different things, you know, so like all these different reasons why they, the concrete doesn't look pristine, I took pictures of and I turned them into this packet. There's also a bunch of seamless textures um, you know, for you to use if you wanted to use the concrete textures to kind of, you know, create panels. But they are very high resolution, so it doesn't necessarily need a lot of seamless, but you never know. You might want to go that route. That one's not bad. In fact, let's do that. I don't even know how I'm going to use it. I'm going to turn it like this, and I'm going to rotate it like that. It's really a bit of a contradiction, and I don't want to eat into her, into her, well, it's a weird turn of phrase, but I don't want to eat into her face too much, which I can already see, like this little patch right here is going to be a bit of a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rasterize that one so that I can use the, uh, the, what do you call it, the, I always forget the name of it, the um, patch tool, that's not what it's called though. The healing brush. There we go. <laughs> Use the healing brush. So what I do is I hold the option or alt on PC, click any area that I want to kind of copy from. And what it does is it just, instead of this, like the clone stamp tool, it kind of is, um, it's using kind of smart data. In fact, I'm going to increase the size just a bit. It's kind of using smart data to adequately kind of redraw what's happening there. So now if I bring this down, so maybe this one's still a little bit, this, this patch right here is a little weird. So I'll do that again. I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda clean that up like that. And maybe that one just for good measure I'm down here. And that one. That should do us good. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Hey, what's up, Hannah? How are you? Ark, what's going on? Will you ever do a trampoline workout video? No. <laughs> no, I will not. If we're being honest. Ark, who are you? <laughs> you were you remind me of somebody else, but I don't think it's you. You remind me of somebody else who would come into my TikTok lives and say crazy stuff like that. But I don't think it's, that it's you. <laughs> anyway, so what I would normally do in these circumstances, well, okay, first off, <coughs> I wanna reduce, I wanna turn this into a monochromatic image. Cause uh, I could probably work around this if I wanted to, but I think I wanna make this monochromatic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change this to black and white and maybe make some adjustments to, to balance and 
I don't know. I don't know what kind of vibrancy. Any gray that you bring in is just kind of, kind of, well, kind of, kind of. It's going to kind of, kind of, it's going to dull down the image. I don't want to go too bright one direction or another. I also don't want to lose any of the depth there. I'm just going to play with this, these little knobs. I'm going to play with the knobs a little bit here and there. That should do it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and merge that right on down. So now that image is full, full on monochromatic. I'm okay, just tired. I know, I know who this is, right? I know who this is. I know who this is. You mean, do I know who this is? Yes, I know who you, yeah, do, yes, I know who you are. <laughs> it's arc that's a little bit uh, of an anomaly. Arc nine printer there. Um, anyway, so what I would normally do in these circumstances is I might just go and just multiply, you know, or color or linear burn or darker color. That was, that's actually not bad right there. <laughs> that's actually kind of interesting just like that. But if I was doing something super abstract, I might do that. The goal here is not to necessarily do like this super abstract thing. It's really kind of just to create this granite texture on top of this young lady. So multiply is probably it. I could probably do, well, overlay is a little bit too weird. Like that's too much. The thing about overlay is that what it does is it essentially, it pushes contrast in both directions, both in light and dark. Um, except not quite, not like as extreme like threshold or something like that. But it's essentially saying like, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to eliminate gray as much as possible while still maintaining some depth, but then it brings up vibrancy of the, of the lighter colors and bring, and then brings in the, the contrast of the darker colors, the shadows. Um, that's why what happened here is that it got super bright because she's already bright and then it essentially removed all the gray. So it removed basically all the depth in there. Um, not all the gray, but at least like the middle of the gray band is basically removed. Hi from Canada. <laughs> Hi from Long Beach. <laughs> so that's not what we want. We probably do want multiply, but this is too intense. It's definitely too intense. But before I do anything more, here's what I'm going to do. This is where it gets interesting, folks. This is where this is this is where the the, the real jam happens. This is this is where this is what separates amateurs from professionals. <laughs> maybe maybe I don't know. Don't shh, don't listen to me. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to duplicate that layer. Command J. We'll duplicate the layer as is. But it's multiply. I don't want multiply. I want, um, I'm going to, I'm probably going to do screen or maybe lighten at some point, but right now it looks like crap. That looks, that looks horrible. It looks horrible. It's okay though, because I'm going to show you why. Okay. So I am going to, on this one, in fact, I'm going to switch it back to normal just so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to add a levels to that. And now what I'm going to try and do here is just, I'm going to try and capture as much of the tiny little highlights that you might find in, you know, like when you, when you look at this texture here, that's up on the page, right? In fact, I'm going to zoom in just a bit. When I look in here, whoa, how did it get all fuzzy like that? That's weird. What happened? Did I do something wrong here? Hold on. Why did it get all, that's weird. It got all. Got all weird and raw. Oh wow! How's that? It's not supposed to be that, huh? That's interesting. It shouldn't be that uh, soft. Anyway, well, we can fix that too. But anyway, so when I get in here, especially in like in these sections here, these little highlighted areas, the little highlights here, 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 all of that stuff is basically it's it's like the reflection of the light in a different way on that particular surface and of course the shadows and the darks are are the lack of that light but it's not i mean the color of the concrete is light right but what i want is i just want to capture a little bit of that highlight just a tiny bit of that highlight so i'm going to add a level 
and I'm going to bring my, I'm going to mess with my gamma and then my colors, right? And if it gets a little bit too high contrast, I'll come down here and work with my output, okay? So if you're not familiar with how levels work, let's see, bring this back to normal, okay? So black is obviously goes, it, it's more of the, it brings the contrast into the black, right? And coming down on the white will bring more high contrast into the white areas, right? The gamma is kind of like the balance of like the grays, like how, how much gray, how much is this in there? Is this, is this, how much gray is in there? Right? As you can see, as I do this, the gamma brings up or brightens or, or lightens the grayness, okay? And then output black level and output white level kind of does the opposite of what you would think. Well, it's already at full, full bore, right? So what this essentially does is it just kind of like blanketly cat takes everything in the document and brings the, the scale of the black or the white down. So when I go over here to output black level and I go this way, it, it kind of almost mediates all the blackness until you get to white, right? And the opposite is true with the white, right? It mediates all the white to black, right? So kind of like if you if it's too much highlight, like if it's too bright back here, I, I, I you know, all over bright, I just kind of want to bring this down and add a little bit of touch of gray. If you've ever seen an image, like you've pulled up an image, you've used it for something, and it has like this really sharp highlight, like especially like the light shining on the head, the forehead or the nose kind of creates a super bright spot. And it almost looks like it's missing color. It's probably because they went and oversaturated or overbalanced this stuff and didn't bring, didn't leave a little bit of gray information in that image. And you can add it back in, but you kind of have to be careful sometimes with that because then what it ends, ends up happening is that white spot that's there as a highlight turns into a gray spot. So you have to be, you have to tread lightly with these two down here. Not, not blurry. It's, it's a little soft. If I zoom in here, like, I mean, yeah, it's all pixels, but, you know, it's a little soft. It's not blurry when I zoom out, <laughs> but it's a little blurry when I zoom in. It should be a little bit tighter than that. Maybe it's just because of the resolution that I'm working at, uh, which is not a small resolution, but it's definitely uh, smaller than what I might. Well, it's smaller than the images originally, so there's that. Anyway, so again, what I want to do is I kind of want to bring, I want to bring this down to a point where the highlights are... Are kind of showing through now I could probably just throw a, a threshold on that and bring that in let's just let's just that's it for, for kicks let's just do that let's go in bring in a threshold and I could just do like that right and that kind of captures what I'm looking for but not exactly it's just too extreme it's too literally black and white I don't want that I want gray but this does not allow for gray at all so we don't want that. So I'm gonna essentially try to achieve that same effect, sorta, but still leave some of that gray information in there. So bring these back to normal. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start with the gamma first. I'm just gonna bring it down like that. Now I know I need to bring up, come up with my blacks quite a bit. I'm not gonna adjust my whites just yet because my whites are what they are. And sometimes I might not be able to get exactly what I'm looking for in this in one go. Sometimes I have to add a second levels le uh, levels adjustment on top of this to kind of just even dampen it even more. I'm gonna send you a photo of an oil slick I took much back around with it if you like, bro. Yeah, please, you can always email me. My email address is uh, dc at daveconnery.com. That look like stars of the night. Oh, right on, look, yeah, look forward to it. Send it to me. Drop me a note. Don't spam me. Don't let. Don't try to send me, sign me up for your multi-level marketing schemes. <laughs> mm. It's like it's one of the this this kind of post-workout drink I do. It's one of these things that tastes really good at first, and then it kind of hits you with that weird medicinal aftertaste after you know yeah after aftertaste at the end <laughs> but it's still it's pretty good in the beginning okay so 
I don't know if I want to do that put output. So I'm going to bring down the white output, but not too much. I mean, I'm getting pretty, I'm getting pretty rich right there already. I'm going to see how far I can go with the black without losing too much. This spot down here is really kind of a little bit of problematic for me because you can see it's like it's brighter here than anywhere else. It's not a big deal, but it might change. It might change the outcome a little bit. I'm just going to keep going and see what happens. Because like I said, I could always just merge this or put another levels on top of this. See if I can't pull out some extra information out of it. I could also bring the output level, the black output level up a little bit. And that'll balance it across the board. So maybe if I do that, see how it kind of balances a little bit more. Now, of course, I'm losing part of what I lost by doing that. But then again, that's just how I, you know, if I just want to throw, come in here and throw another levels on top of that. Now I can just do the same thing again, bring it down even more. And then bring up the highlight. But then bring my blacks way in. And again, maybe this is too much. Maybe it's a bit too much. So what I can always do is go back to this one and just bring my highlights up in there. Play around with what I've got there. That's too much. I know this is a little bit of, this is what I'm probably doing here is a little bit of um, overkill. It's, it's just this particular image that I brought in is a little bit tricky. Because I'm looking at this space and I'm looking at this space up here at the same time. Okay, so let's just say this is it. So I'm gonna combine those. I'm gonna group them just so they're all in one and I can play with my blending modes as need be. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change that to screen and then I'm gonna bring that down in opacity. Right. I'm going to zoom into myself here just a tiny bit. I'm going to leave it at 50 just for our purposes right now. And then that multiplies a bit much. Still a bit much. So maybe it's not multiplied. Maybe it should be color burn. Just messing around with the different things, see what I get. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with color burn and then just kind of play around with this. So, as you can see, it's like if I remove it completely, you can see that highlight in there now. You, you can see the highlight from the other one, of course. Right? So, maybe I just want to bring in just a little bit of texture there. So you can see what's going on. That might be a bit much. As you zoom out, sometimes you, you kind of find that the texture might be a little bit strong. And go back to this one. Oops. Kind of maybe bring it up, bring it down, and see how it feels. Okay, so now some of these things in here are a little weird, right? So this is so they're like who wants a big black mark on her tooth or on her lip like a like a cold sore herpes cold sore or right up here under her nose like she's dripping something out of her post nasal drip so then thanks Hannah I'll check them out later so I'm gonna group both of those together okay just uh, actually here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one last thing just so I can show you this um, I'm gonna duplicate that layer right there and I'm just gonna hide this one for a second but now I've got this group, okay? And I'm gonna throw a mask on top of that one. And make sure you kind of drop it in there, otherwise it will mask everything below it, every single layer below it. So I'm just kind of dropping that mask on top of this group. And I'm just gonna create a, bring a, bring a little bit of a soft brush. 
that's too big of a soft brush that's still too big of a soft brush and I'm just gonna paint with a, a gradiated level of gray bring my opacity down just a little bit and kind of just colorizing like that in fact actually now that I think about it here's something I might want to consider okay nobody wants their eyes princess looking like she's got rotten teeth so I'm gonna go in here and just kind of paint away all that texture that I just put in there Maybe I just need to bump it up all the way because it's going a little slow. There we go. Why is that texture still coming through? That's weird. It's very strange. Oh, I guess it's just taking time. It's just taking time. So I'm just painting away all that texture. Gently nudging these uh, these little unsightly marks like that. Okay, and then another place that I thought might be interesting to remove it is here. Make her eyes nice and brilliant and clear. And in fact, what I may even do is throw a sharpen on this just so we can bring that in get rid of that one too she doesn't need that blemish up there take this eye move the texture there so that her eyes are really they'll really jump out when i zoom out of this you'll see exactly what i'm talking about and i don't know the result here i haven't tried this particular technique on this particular image so who knows how this will play out Kind of gently moving around there. And if I zoom out, ka chow. It's looking pretty good. I don't know. What do you think? By by remove the mask, you can see what what we took what was there, and then this brings it away. Right. That's not so good. That's better. You know, and I might go in and touch up some of these some of these things up here. Like maybe that one's no good. I don't want that there. Maybe these these blemishes are just not they're not suiting this. Oh, here we go. Spinning wheel. Hopefully that doesn't do much too for too long. There we go. Sorry, I need to drink a drink while we wait. While I wait. I'm multitasking. And then maybe this one up here. So what made me think about this technique is that oh, this one down here too. And then there's this crazy one here. This one's a little bit. That's a little because it's so big. I probably what I would need to do is stamp that one instead, which I could do, but we're, we're not going to worry about it today. Same with that one too. So anyway, the, what I came to with this technique, and let's zoom out so you can see everything. Let's bring it up just a little bit. And just to remove the technique completely, maybe it's still a little bit too much. And now that I've got it grouped, I can just keep backing it down until I get it to a point where it's like just enough. Just enough of a texture to create something going on. And maybe the granite is not the best texture for this one. Maybe there is some sort of ice texture that I could find and put it on top of this and that might help too. Although this does look a little bit icy to, you know, a little bit, right? It looks a little bit icy. So if we were doing Ice Queen here, like, uh, what is it, the, the Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe or whatever, the, is that what that, the, the, the Witch of the North? What's her, I can't remember. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's been a long time. Um, anyway, so, you know, if we wanted to add a little bit of icy aspect to it, we could. We can try different textures. We could try paper if we wanted to. Um, and of course, we can always change the the vibrancy and the hue and saturation of this thing. Just to, let's just throw a hue and saturation on it, just for just for fun. What happens if we move it over here? Why aren't you letting me move it over here? Why aren't you letting me move it? There we go. 
That wasn't letting me move it for some reason. Okay. Uh, hue and saturation. And it gets a little weird when you start getting some of these colors. But maybe you want that. Maybe you want that fantasy aspect. That uh, legend look. You know what I'm talking about? You remember Legend with Tom Cruise and the girl from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Maybe you want that, but not. Not. I don't want that. I like it. I like her just as she is. So that's the technique: textures, but not just dropping one texture on top of it and calling it done. You know, you can do that sometimes with some posters and stuff like that. The poster work that I do, the the artwork that I do, I do that often. But if you want to create real texture depth, like you really want to capture the the aspects of the texture that you're throwing on there you also kind of have to bring in it's not just the darks or the lights you have to bring in a little bit of each because that's how you're getting the depth you know if you if you think about anything that you see around you know look at any texture like if you go even if you just go to like maybe you have kind of textured walls in your house if you go to the textured walls and you see what identifies the texture while you're looking at it it's the difference between what the highlight is on top or wherever the light source is coming from versus the shadow that's on the opposite side right it's that little differentiation that creates the the visual to your eyes about the you know what's happening on that wall you know i've got a wood door here and i can see the texture of the wood door from here and though it just feels like wood grain what i'm actually seeing is little tiny little uh, you know differences between the highlight and the shadow bug in the way so um so yeah so it's um it's just one of these things like it, you know even if you let me just try something in here i was thinking this i may not necessarily be able to render this perfectly because it's been a long time since i've done this in the past but if i just take this circle right here right and i'm just going to rasterize it and um Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, okay, so I'm going to paint a little bit of a highlight on this. Actually, I'm going to paint a little bit of a... Oh, am I in the... Oh, that's probably why my brush was being weird. I was on the pixel brush and not the paint brush. That's probably... That's why the brush was being so strange. I was on the wrong brush. The uh, brush tool, excuse me. Okay. So... I'm just going to draw a selection here. And I'm just going to paint a little, small little shadow here. I'm going to back out my opacity just a tiny bit. Okay. I created depth. Just like that. Created depth on top of this circle. Doesn't that look great? Looks like great. It looks like a ball. It looks like a red rubber ball. That somebody has or does it just look like a weird kind of button that just has a shadow on it but what if i did this make a selection again put another layer on top change my color <clears throat> and then this one i want to be really light i'm gonna bring it down that's probably in the wrong color let's um Instead of that, instead of white, we're going to bring a, a bit of a pink in there. I think that's still too much. It needs to be lighter. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it down even more. Bring up my brush size it down even more. And... Let's draw a little oval. And I'm not the best at this. So, <laughs> just bear with me. Boom. A little bit of highlight. Now you have a ball. 
Uh, of course, I could also do, you know, this too. I could also come in here and do a little thing. Let's do a little, uh, a little something, something down here. Come on, it's too, too much. This is not the tutorial you signed up for today, guys. It's not the tutorial I signed up for today. I'm not a 3D artist. All right, and there's more I could add to this. If I really, if this really was the road that I wanted to go down, I could totally go like add like a, you know, the cast shadow or, or the cast highlight where it's like the, 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 the light is bouncing stuff up on here. Like, and I'm pointing to the, I'm pointing. If I went and put a little whiteness here, uh, why not? <laughs> why can't just let's just do it, Dave. Um, I'm gonna leave it on that layer just because. Just a faint one. Oh, that's too much. Super faint, and it's a little bit more broad. It's just a little bit of a cast down there because light bounces, right? And so it's bouncing, even though it's shadowed, is a little bit of bounce in there, right? And the point being, not that, hey, here's how you render a, a red ball in Affinity Photo. <laughs> the point being is that when you're using textures, you need to have that shadow coming up from underneath wherever, well, you need the highlight from wherever your light source is and figure out where your light source should be, right? And then you need the shadow from underneath. And of course, there's the, the mediating grays in the middle there that you kind of have to figure out where those go, where those um, stop, right? And kind of let the texture live, right? But just adding that little extra layer of the highlight on top of the, the, the you know, the multiplied layer, it just, it just creates that, that little extra layer of uh, <clears throat> believability, realism. Um, you know, our young lady here does not have concrete face, right? And this image is, you know, it's, you know, it's just a thing. But you know, that's, that's, now she, now she does, now she does have a concrete face. <laughs> so anybody have any questions? Anybody who's left? Anybody who's actually still here? Have any questions about what we're doing? Anybody have any uh, thing that they want to add? Maybe something I missed? That's what you want to hear in your microphone, Dave. <laughs> did um, did anybody not watch today's video? Does anybody have any questions about today's video? Does anybody have any questions about what the future holds after I announced today's video? Because that's a, that's a really good opportunity for somebody to to get a subject matter taken care of because if you're here and you want to talk to me about some of the things that you know I'm going to be talking about but maybe you want me to lean into one versus the other hey here's your here's your chance since you're here I'll give you three seconds to respond and then I'm gonna cut it out uh oh I need to switch my my computer's about to die I gotta switch my my cord from the iPad to the iMac or the MacBook Checking the chat, checking the chat. Nobody's around, checking the chat. Um, I know people are there. I know you're there. You're just not chatty. You're not chatty chat chat. I can't see the, uh, it says there's nine people here, but nobody's chitty chat chat. And that's okay. It's totally okay. You don't want to chat it up? It's all right. I'm not afraid of lurkers. But now that this technique's done, I'm going to go. <laughs> what time is it? 1.48. Wow, this is a short live today. I mean, well, <laughs> I say that it's not the shortest live I've done, right? <laughs> it's not the shortest live I've done because um, a couple days ago I did one that was like 20 minutes because I, uh, you know, I threw my hands in the air because of the internet. Speaking of the internet, let's take a look and see what OBS has to say for me. Oh, yeah, we're still golden. We're still golden. 
So far, so good. Okay, guys, well, since there's nothing coming in from left field, I'm just going to go ahead and go. If you guys want any more information about this, if you have any questions about this after the fact, if anybody's watching this after the fact, if you have any questions, go down in the comments and drop them in there. While you're here, if you want to make sure you catch me on some of the other things that I've um, got coming on, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button on this video because it'll help me kind of push it out to other people. It's kind of weird. I don't know what the, well, the replay. Go and hit the like button because the replay might go out to other people. Maybe. Anyway, um, subscribe, hit the bell button because that'll let you know the next time I am going to come up on live or I am going to be sending another video. Because if you just subscribe, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you just subscribe, uh, YouTube doesn't necessarily tell you every time somebody posts a video that you've subscribed to unless you actively go to your subscribe feed and see, oh, who's been posting things today, right? But you hit that bell button, you'll never miss me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get out. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks very much. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see any some, some, see any something else. If you want to see any something else, make sure you let me know in the comments below. All right, on that note, I'm gone. All right. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks very much. Remember, be good today. Be even better tomorrow. And I'll see you then. I'm going to keep doing this until I can kind of come over here and stop the stream. I can multitask. 